good looking. What do you got cooking? No. <laughs> you tell her. I think their marriage has issues. Right on the Go back here and do this one. Curtain? Yeah. <laughs> Morning guys, we finally made it to the end of this not ideal work week and uh, to be honest I just cut off the phone with another family member dealing with some health issues so it has just been, I think the saying goes like things happen in threes, they, I think we're well past threes, I think we're getting into multiples of three. <laughs> I can't take a whole lot more uh, bad news but uh, I, th I think everything's going to be okay, it's just, yep, more uh, more worrying, which I am actually really good at. <laughs> I want to work away our bales on the one side of the lean-to. We're getting near the end of the stack, and when we get to the end, uh, it gets a bit tricky to, to retrieve the bales without tipping them over because we don't have an end wall because that is just on the to-don't list. Um, <laughs> you can tip them back and it wrecks the fence, and we just got that fence fixed, so I'm trying to keep on top of keeping that side kind of filled up for Carissa. So. We've got some bales in the barn that I'm gonna move over. Um, I'll leave a little bit there just to keep the girls, the golden girls still sheltered. But um, it's been kind of like in the back of my brain to do this for a bit. Uh, but before I can move them, I have a broken bale in the front that I wanna move. So that's why I grab the grapple here and then I'll switch it out, grab the bale fork and just work away, shut my brain off, listen to some music and uh, escape for a couple hours. <laughs> Thank goodness it's Friday. Good looking, what you got cooking? Well, it rained all day yesterday. I always wait till it's like gale force winds, west wind, blowing right in here to try to move this door. It is so heavy. Why didn't I do this yesterday? Oh yeah, it rained. probably half full again we still have all this so like we're good I just I know Carissa prefers these smaller bales to the bigger bales because the bigger bales don't fit on the cart very well so she's gonna opt to keep taking these until you get to that far uh the far stack like the back stack and I just don't want them to do the the fall over so this is just a little preventative measure so we still have a few bales here just in this alleyway here and I have left one stack here, just as kind of a windbreak for them. I don't really think they need it because I always have this door shut. You guys happy back there? Hey, big mama. 
<laughs> Just chilling in the back. Good morning. I have to take advantage of these like frozen mornings because the days warm up enough that every, everything turns into mud and I can't get these bales. So I went out and got like four more bales from the pile, which leaves plastic. And I finally got rid of all my recycle yesterday. I think there were 60 bags for the guy to pick up. So we use a service. They're not too far from here. And uh, he's like, I can back, I can come back more often. I'm like, I know, I just forget to call you. <laughs> so yeah, that uh, so much less claustrophobic. But I'm already starting to rebuild uh, our inventory, as you can see. All right, I am on chore duty actually today and tomorrow. Chris is going bridesmaid dress shopping today, and then I think she's got a birthday party or something tomorrow. So. Um, I try to give her, I, I mean, I ask her all the time, like, do you want time off? And uh, she likes to work. She's a young girl, likes to save money, uh, got a car payment, all the things. So um, I know it looks like I don't do anything, but uh, uh, if I'm not working, if I'm not doing chores, I'm usually busy doing other stuff. So uh, fear not, this lady doesn't like to sit still. Ew. I'm going to do chores, and I think Mark wants to train me how to install a floor, which may be worth turning on the camera just for people who think their marriage has issues.
Well, chores took a little longer than originally intended and it is already like oh, well after lunch. But look what we did. We just got a wee little itty bitty pile. We uh, took advantage of the frozen morning. Mark grabbed me and he said, let's, uh, let's work away getting that manure to the field while it's frozen. We just stockpile, we don't spread. Yeah, we just wanted to get this cleaned off because now that it's clean, I can actually work away cleaning the barn across the road before I wean those lambs. So hoping to start that earlier this week uh, and then ship the rest of those lambs Wednesday and then wean Thursday if I can get that barn cleaned out. So that's kind of the goal. So now I have a pad that I can actually, I can fill the dump wagon across the road and bring it to the pad. And then the next frozen day we can bring, we can move the pads manure to the, the field again. So it's just wonky weather. February is usually really, really cold. Like the last two or three for sure have been like deep freezes. And we were really counting on that this year. And the weather was like, <laughs> hold my beer lady. We are not doing that. So yeah, it's like, it's supposed to be well above zero all week this week and then the week after that it looks like it might start to dip down again so maybe we'll get a little couple few days there that we can that we can get this cleaned off once and for all and then we will fill this once again with the uh the side that we're gonna the side that we need for lambing that whole side needs cleaned out still so yeah all that's in my brain in the last like week and a half has been how are we gonna get all this manure moved when we have nowhere to put it so uh, Mark and I did some talking. I think what we're gonna do uh, as soon as it becomes spring here I'm gonna actually call some concrete guys and our um, excavating crew that we work with in town and Basically to the end of the bags there. Sorry, we're in the Sun here I don't know If you can see the end of the bag Over yonder and square it off to the barn. That'll be a whole new we're gonna just we're gonna just push it and build a concrete pad there so then I can uh, I can stock manure way back there. It's gonna be a lot of money. Mark figures it'd be like 25 grand just to put in that little bit of concrete. So sucks, but this winter reminded us that not all weather is conducive for our plans. <laughs> Good morning. We have a group, I think I talked about this in the last video, but my ewe lambs didn't have their second lice treatment uh, because they were breeding, so I have to kind of start the process over again. I timed it today because I also have to do the ewes that Charlie sheared here two weeks ago. It was actually two weeks yesterday. Uh, they have to be done at least two weeks apart, so this works out really good.
my trigger is not working well at all. So I don't know if it's just too cold today or or what's going on, but it's slowing up the process. All right, we got Willow's group done. Uh, the I ended up actually cutting, I have a tube on the inside of the container too, and I think it was just long enough that it was creating like an airlock all the time. So I actually just cut the bottom of the tube a little so it barely touched the bottom, and then it worked awesome after that. So anyway, I don't know why it's been working up to this point, but today it decided it didn't want to cooperate. So they are done. We're gonna move into our ewes that are due here in a month. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're on our last group of views. Uh, a few questions I usually have about lice is, can I get it? Not from sheep, thank goodness. I had it when I was little and I still have nightmares and my mom probably still has nightmares. She had three girls with very long hair. Pretty sure after that we all had short hair. Uh, we try to time it when they're sheared because you have to, you should get that skin contact. Uh, the label says the back and the face, but I don't do the face. I don't want to get it in their eyes because sheep, sheep will move as soon as you go to do it, so. Um, I think I think that's the main questions that most people have when it comes to lice, so hopefully that helps. I actually cannot believe it is a few days after all that snow. It is it is so warm and sunny today. I'm running really behind. It is middle of the afternoon and I still haven't done chores over here. Just doing those management jobs. I forget that when I do it by myself, it takes a lot longer, so I don't take into account time at all. I'm going to run over here and see how these ladies are doing. Oh my goodness. Feller. I think we know who's in charge. Are you the queen? I can do it this side because it's left handed. I ain't going to be able to do it left handed. We'll try that out. Good. 
This is the back. This is the yeah. Back. That's why I wanted to get one in so it can pivot now. Okay. So we can take this clamp off. And I'll take that blue one off and that black one off on the bottom. Take it off. Yeah. It's not lined up anymore. Use the red one because it's a little got a little bit more bite. Which way? The, your, this one needs out just a tap. Well, uh, Traffic? Tighten it up there. Okay. Hurting? Yeah. This feels swollen today. It looks swollen. Looks Fingers purpley. Puff, puff purpley. Yeah. From falling yesterday, might have. You never know. If you haven't been taking Advil, it's probably that too. Alright, drill. Yeah, do the. In the front? What are we doing in the front or the back? Like way down here? Yeah. Much for your exercise, Lucy. Yeah, that was short lived. Well, she did walk all the way back here. And just go in the middle and then down the three sides. Over here? Yeah, sure. I got one in already. On yeah. this side? On that side. Oh, on this side. Yeah. And then just do your three along the back. back. Do it right on the um, right on the door. go back here and do this one. Oh, that's better. Just give this joiner wrap again, right in the seam. When you do Your that, fingies. I know when you oh. Push in a little, like, so that tab spray is close to yeah. that seam as possible. There you go. You just push this in a little bit. Though. That's fine. Don't worry about it. One in? Yep. Not that long one? Yep. Do you know it's a sad day when Mark has to get me to do this stuff? Uh, he's coaching me through it, which, surprisingly, he's been really good. I thought he'd be a lot more impatient, but... He is going to go grab Jess. She wanted to get some, she wanted to get some fresh air. So he's going to go grab her and grab some Advil because his wrist, his hand is starting to swell up a bit. I think he forgot to take medication at lunch and he's regretting that now. So he said, I will go get Jess and come back. So I am attempting to do my first piece, full length piece by myself, which I don't know, we'll see how this goes. its happy spot it goes it lays flat but we're doing pretty good floor ceiling I'd say it's a pretty good match it looks completely different up here than it looks down there it looks a lot darker up here which is which is nice it's cozy I feel like we're not gonna have a whole lot of headroom up here <laughs> for sleeping. Come on. One-handed. <laughs> <laughs> 